Hi, everybody. Welcome to the fourth episode of Philostos. My name is Rachel. I am Treehouse Knits on all of the social medias, and this is my partner in crime. I am Sue, and I am Knit24 on all the social medias, meaning Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I say too. all. I, I'm not I, on Twitter. I wouldn't even know how to tweet. I think I... I am on all of those, but I don't know how to get in. I don't know my password. I am on Facebook, but I do not do a lot of like this kind of stuff on Facebook. Like yeah. I, it's mostly my followers are like family. And I'm yeah, not- I'm, I'm the same. And I always feel bad when somebody likes my Treehouse Knits page because I want to just warn them. There's nothing good there for you to see right now. Yeah. But anyways, welcome. We are so glad you are here. We have a lot of new subscribers, as you do when it's your fourth episode. People are starting to find us, which is a lot of fun. We know a lot of people, but there's a lot of new people, too. A lot of stitchers that I can't wait to get to know as well. Agree. Uh, I don't know about you, Sue, but I just have a pile of stuff here and no mental organization of it. So we'll just kind of jump into our podcast. We do have a winner. We had a little giveaway last time. Thank God for you, because when you just said that to me, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, like, I forgot. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember, we're giving away this kit from Fat Quarter Shop. It was the last Fat Quarter Shop, I think it's called Stitch Quarterly. Um, What do you call this? Not a box. It's, well, it comes in a bag, Mm -hmm. but it's their cool kit that they put out every quarter, and this has everything you need. Look how nice they package it. And inside it's got the cross stitch pattern for this flag. If you can see it. Am I covering it? So I kind of want it, but I didn't enter. Yeah. No, and you wouldn't be allowed to win, Sue. Oh, darn. (laughs) Like the way you Um, said There's an American Spirit needle case, the Bowen cross stitch and tapestry needle. There's a cross stitch line keeper, which is a new product from Fat Quarter Shop. There is the embroidery floss you need and this cute zipper bag that matches the pattern. We did a random comment picker. We asked that you put the word flag in the comments. And we had the winner as Kaylin McClister. And Kaylin said, hello, I'm so enjoying this new podcast with the two of you. Cross Stitch was my first love and only craft for years. Since I've become an avid knitter, spinner, and rug hooker, I figured I'd never be picking up those especially time-consuming cross stitch projects again. Rachel, you've hooked me in again with your Jane Austen project. The sentiment in her words speaks to the time we're living through right now. Thanks for the flag giveaway. So generous. So congratulations. She sounds like me. McClister. Yay. And we do that for random generator. It's so funny. She sounds exactly like me, like the knitting, spinning, hooking. That's so me. And I truly, really thought like I'd cross stitch here and there again, but not obsessively like I am. I I know. I love that she does all the, yeah, it's really neat. I, that's one of the things we're finding is a lot of us knitters and Crocheters are coming back to cross stitch. So congrats, Kaylin. Kaylin, if you could just email me, I guess at treehouseknits at gmail.com. I'll put the email down below. Let me know you saw this and uh, I will ship that to you. So that's exciting. So exciting. Yay. Thank you. first little giveaway. That's very exciting. Yeah. So any other administrative things you can think of we need to do? No. Okay. I don't think so. I feel like I'm so not good at administrative things anyway. <laughs> Why am I asking like you? I was, I'm <laughs> kidding. I <was> like, no. <laughs> Why don't we jump in? Do you have any finished objects? No. <laughs> I <laughs> do. <laughs> well, I say that. You know what? I sent my two pieces off to Paige. So we have not even discussed framing yet because she's on a little vacation. But, um... So what it makes me say is I will have finished pieces eventually, like fully finished pieces. That's going to be so exciting. I cannot okay. wait. Well, my finished object is a small one. Oh, it was just kind oh, of like a little 
palette cleanser in between my big ones. I have such big stitches oh, going on, me. but I'm envisioning this warm winter woolens. I think this is a little house needleworks. It's oh, if I was a good floss tuber, I would know. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's Ooh, I think it's little house needleworks. It's only like three inches by maybe six or seven. And everything always looks bigger on the screen, but if you put it by my head, you can tell it's not that big. I think I'm going to just frame it inexpensively mm -hmm. and then attach it to a basket that my little knitted hats and winter things go in. And it's only my basket. There's no boy stuff going in this one because oh their stuff, stuff doesn't need a, doesn't Pretty. need a, pretty thing like that so I love that Rachel and it's so funny because I remember when you showed just the picture again the pictures just never do it justice no it this is like so a, rich it's so rich it's so so is his body is it done in the um fancy floss it is it's all fancy flosses and this that brown color I love is it. so beautifully tonal. I would love a yarn in that color. Oh. I have that yarn color. Yeah, whiskey barrel? Is that what you call it? Oh, what is it called? Oh my gosh. Dry roast. I think I need some of that. Dry roast. Yeah. Uh, that's my new floss, favorite floss color. What is it? It's oh, I put all my floss warm, away. It's such a warm brown, and I love the um, the yarn is exactly the same. It's very tonal, so it reminds yeah. me exactly of that. <gasps> so pretty. I love that. Oh. I kind of want it. I know. I'm so excited about it. I And I did it on, oh my gosh, I don't know anything about this project anymore. It's like 28 count. I'm the worst. Oh, my guess is 28. Two strands. It is Little House Needleworks. Work, Rachel. Edit, edit, edit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my favorite color is called Brandied Pears. Mm. Isn't that, that, brand, that brown is gorgeous. But yeah, it's all classic color works. Classic color works. Which I think is my favorite. My favorite, um, favorite hand dyed cotton. You know what? You know how I go about favorite and not favorite is how it's put, how it's cut. It's not terrible. Really? <laughs> no, so that's like, interesting. Like how easy is it to pull off a strand? Is it all like weeks, which I love their colors, but it's like a little mini skein. So it's not, I like a long length pre-cut or one that I can just cut right in half me too yeah. that's what I like about classic color works maybe that's why I like it the best because yeah. you just pull it out cut it in half and then you can fold it back and loop through the yep. thing and exactly yeah. exactly which should not be a determining factor honestly probably not it is. <laughs> it is. It definitely is but yes oh my gosh that is adorable I have such a desire lately to have We'll talk about this one next week, like a bunch of mini, like pillowish kind of to put in like bowls and to put on hutches, like to decorate with. Well, you know, it would be fun with your little granddaughters to have like a dough bowl on a coffee table and then they can look at the 12 days of Christmas yes. or like a series. Exactly. And I kind of want to start that. You know what stops me? And this is so frustrating is I'm not a finisher. I'm just not a finisher and I that's 90% of it is that finishing is so beautiful beautiful I, that I see out there in the world and it's just not I don't want to say what I have time for but it kind of isn't what I have time for like I would rather be spending time stitching so yes. if any of you have the fit, most fantastic finishers in the world please put it up here for us I really want to use Brenda's finisher. Yes. Because she's fantastic. And I don't know if she is, does that or it's something they, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's a business. I want to say her name is Joy because she mentions her. A lot. Yeah. I got to pay more attention next time. Me too. Me too. That's true. What you been working on? Oh my gosh. I've been working on a lot. I do a lot in two weeks. You know what I like is I really 
have, we might have already talked about this. I tend to focus on one project for say a week or two, and then I move on to another one. So I really get into it. So what I was working on the most, I think, oh my gosh, if you ever saw what is around me, and I know we all say that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna find it in one second. Okay, I think I talked about this last time. I'm still, I still haven't hit the projects in all my beautiful bags. But I all, need more bags. I may, I have to make myself some more I bags. I definitely need more bags, but I also don't mind these for the big projects because they're really yeah. big. They're big. And, and you can big. still see through them so you know what's in there. So I know what's in here, but I kind of did a lot on this. Did I start this last time? You, I think you did. But you just had the house and the moon, I think, and the yeah. rat. So I really wanted to finish the two blocks. So Jen of Quirks and Stitches, huh? who I really lo I love her work. I love her work. She started this with someone else, and she's doing a block a month. And I think she started in, I don't know when. Anyways, my goal is kind of to follow along with that, not join because I'm terrible at knit-alongs, stitch-alongs. I'm terrible at them. <laughs> like I want to do them. I get so excited, and then I start, and then I lose all my steam. I know. I know. I think a lot of people feel that way, but yeah. isn't it beautiful? It is. And you know, it must feel nice to do that kind of stitching after you've done a lot of the um, uh, Quaker. Work. Yeah, Samplerish Quaker. These are scenes, and I'm well, longing for that myself. I really love it. And the thing that I love is I make less mistakes because there's more connections. And yeah. more things to relate to. So God, those trees, those trees are so fun. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. I love the whimsical piece of it. So I think because you know I won't finish one full block. Like I'll just I'm almost done. So let's go to a different one because that's how <laughs> I roll. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. So what I'm dying to do, I'm just gonna pull out the picture. Uh, there's two two that I really want. This one I can't wait to start, but there's a lot going on in there. This one. I really so I might jump down and start this one. You know, I'm all about whatever you're inspired to do. This is your hobby. So jump to yes, it. Yes, exactly. You'll get the other stuff done. I will. And the thing is, if I move to one that I'm not super excited about, I won't be invested and now I am really pretty excited about all of the, oh, there's, I love this piece so much. Again, yeah. I feel like this does not do it justice. At, no, no. At, uh, that's why all. stitching shops are so important and videos. I agree. I think. So important to see those models. Like even just you showing that piece that, yeah. you're, that you finished, it's like, that makes me want to go stitch that one because it's beautiful. Yeah. And I wasn't, yeah. I, it was pretty, but I wasn't like, oh, I need that now. Right. You know, and if you go with what's inspiring you and, and you don't finish up certain sections, by the time you are done with the parts that you really wanted to do, then what inspires you is to get it done. So that, yeah. it, then, you know, it keeps your happiness and momentum going. That is a very good point. That is a big, because that's where I go on a lot of these, like, I just want to finish that. It'll make me feel good. So I believe I'm on, oh, I should really start a stitching journal. I feel like I have Ravelry for my, my knitting and weaving and crochet. And that keeps my journal for me. Cause I do use Ravelry. I don't pretty consistently. So but I don't have that for cross stitch. And wouldn't it be nice to just, I love how on Ravelry you can see a, project and see the 200 times it's been knit up and what it looks like and yeah Cross-Stitch needs that well, I guess I Instagram I also find like I think I'm going to remember that this is 36 count fabric I think yeah. but I'm not 100 percent sure yes I'm pretty I'm 99 percent sure the reason is I wasn't sure if I liked the black coverage I felt like I should have used two strands but you know mm -hmm. what 
it's overthinking a tiny area. You know what I mean? Like all the areas, you add all the other color and the coverage on all the other colors is perfect. Through the video, I, it looks black and primish. I think, yeah. sometimes I think when it's uh, less coverage, it looks better because it's more prim. It looks old. Yeah. Older. Yeah. So I love this piece. I put a lot oh, of yeah. time. I would say I worked on this for, I would say maybe seven days, maybe a week. Maybe wow. a week. And then I was like, okay. And again, I was like, I'm going to finish this for floss tube, these two. And the minute I put that goal out there, I changed to something else. What does that mean? Yeah, why does our brain work that way? Did you maybe see someone working on the other project you're doing and, oh, I should be doing that or no? I think it's like a commitment phobic kind of thing. I really hmm. do because I am a commitment phobic. I don't know. Like it really, <laughs> the minute, the minute I put it out there, I change. Hmm. Isn't that weird? That's weird. Sorry. No, no. Good thing um, Dave Stokes got you. <laughs> <laughs> not in my person. <laughs> yeah, not in my, like, not that. It's more like committing to events or committing, like, I, I hate to be tied down like that. Like, now I've got to do this. Oh, I'm the same way. Oh, this would be a great idea if we all get together for dinner next Thursday night. Let's do it. And then Wednesday, I'm like, I don't want to go out for dinner. I don't want to get... <laughs> That for me, that is so common. I hear that all the time, all the time across the board. I think that's for me, it speaks to my introvert side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm an introvert for sure that can put on a good extrovert if need be, but it's Same. exhausting. Same. And it's not even putting on an extrovert. It's for me, it's the introvert extrovert is all about how do we recharge? And I recharge yeah. by being alone. That yes. because I am, a lot of people would consider me an extrovert. When I say I'm an introvert, they're like, no, you're not. It's like, I really am. Yeah. Anyway, well, I know we talk to these screens and they think we're talking to everybody and <laughs> then they meet us in person and probably are disappointed too. <laughs> Never, never, Ma, on your end, never. <laughs> Nor your end. Well, I've been working on something that a dear friend sent to me. Oh, I can't wait to hear all about your adventure here. Oh, oh my gosh. So, I'm going to yep. go get it. It's right here. Uh -huh. oh, I, so I can keep talking. Um, yes, this is the project Rhapsody in Hearts that's designed by Sue. There it is. And this is my first attempt at doing other stitches on, well, I've, I've done embroidery stuff, but I haven't done needlework on linen like this. So this is my first attempt with your pattern. I have to say, it's really, it's like a class. This is a really good pattern for a beginner. So what's funny about this is I've done now the road stitch, which, how fun, it covers so much real estate on your on your um, ground cloth which is so nice I but I have to tell you I was focusing so hard on these road stitches that when I got to the cross stitch that's where I made the mistake when I was cross stitching <laughs> now like, see, I'm what? trying to think did you do did you do the cross stitch first or last you last right well the way the instructions are you start in the upper left hand corner with the road stitches okay um so i did the the big square and then i did a little square and then i did the cross stitches and had okay. to pull those out about three times because the little quarter stitch in there i don't know what it's did i give you the, quarter stitches in there is it for the hearts it is and it's yeah. fine it's just yeah. one over one then but or two over one i should say oh, wow. Yeah, so got that, and then I did the heart, which is so fun and so oh, easy wow. with the diagram. The first heart isn't the best. The second heart, I think I nailed it, which is so fun. I can't wait to um, keep going around the, this is the whole border, so, so you super fun. Be, you will be disciplined and put in that whole border first? Yeah, I think I want to, just because it's fun. It is fun. It, it, there's a nice it's, rhythm to it. But yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. And, and I'm afraid of everything that's in the center. So, 
Oh no. <laughs> Let me look. Oh no. Well, there's... Oh no. There's so much fun going on in that first heart. Yeah. So there are road stitches again. And then mm -hmm. and with backstitch. I enjoy backstitch a lot. I don't think I've ever backstitched anything cross stitch related. So I enjoy it a lot. I would do that last. Um and then this band these bands, the those are super easy. So they're like an elongated cross with a bunch of horizontals. Oh fun. Super easy. See, this is so much I, I don't want to say easier, but it is a lot more doable faster. for a beginner than I thought it would be. It's faster. Like you said, it covers, you cover so much more ground so quickly with all those special mm -hmm. stitches. I'm so excited. I know people have asked for this. Yeah. I don't even know if that's possible. I'd have to really look. I would not, I would not supply, like yours came as a kit. I would not make yeah. I would just do the pattern, which everything is yeah. very accessible. That that part's easy. Um, yeah. I have to really look at the pattern and see if it's, I don't know. The diagrams look very current, modern, nice. Hey, I mean, so it doesn't look old. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think I can show like, no, okay. not at all. You know what? If it I looks still really have, nice. If I still have the boards downstairs, like, because those actually were not, those were done on boards. Like not just on a computer. So then wow. I get the boards to and the printing to the printer and they run. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Honestly, this is super fun. I have to say, I did note I'm using a number 24 needle, which mm -hmm. I really like with this fabric. It's working well, but I found for the first time I have to use a needle threader for the <gasps> pearl cotton. Really? For 24? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pearl cotton number 12. I could not thread it so i had to use a needle threader for the first time and I'm gonna do a major confession here what i'm definitely a licker you're a licker <laughs> <laughs> i know and you know why i'm okay saying that because i'm teasing no no i know no deb of oh you know country stitchers oh yes country She's stitchers yeah and i really like yeah. her so i'll i'll join her too. Yeah. So, but yeah, but you know what? Too, I watched, I watched Nicole all the time, and she yeah. uses a, a th threader. What do you call that? Needle threader. Every time, I think. Every time, I want to get one. They're like ten. Hers is. They use hers is probably ones. fancy. No, she has uh. an old school one, and then she has something that came out. I remember they were like the the rage, the do lolly. Do you did you ever have one of those? No. I'm pretty sure I had one and I threw it at, I don't know. I got rid of so much stuff. It's okay. It is. It is. It opened up room for other stuff. It did. But yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the other learning for me though was when I cut my fancy floss, like I normally do, I, you know, pull it out. It was, it's, um, shaker, gentle arts, gentle arts. I think is, yeah, I pulled it out, cut it like I normally do, put it through. But for these hearts, you need three quarters, well, you need like three quarters of the lengths that I made. So I feel like I'm wasting a lot of thread. So I'm hoping I will have enough. I think I will. I mean, there's a you, lot. If you don't, I think I have a ton of that left over from kits when I pulled them apart. So just say the word. I'm pretty well, so it. Sure. It led me, it makes me realize if you've got a project, these, these, you want to keep the same, I, I you want to thread your needle once when you go into the road stitches, mm -hmm. if possible. <laughs> if possible, if possible. It's just the rhythm of it. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that I was my other learning. I also, right before I do the roads, I tighten my frame so the holes open up a little bit bigger so you can really see them. Yep. So it's just little things you learn when you do. I'm so excited that you're enjoying Thank you, it Sue. And I love it. Thank you so much. I, I just love like getting across to people that are overwhelmed by, by specialty stitches that really there's, you should, not you shouldn't, but 
try not to be because they're so manageable. They are broken down step by step by step. Nobody just puts it out. Well, I say this. It's never just put out there like, oh, do the road stitch. It's it, it's usually very good diagrams. You go one to two, three yeah. to four, five, you know, and it's very. Yeah. It's and very it's rhythmic fast. and fun. And fast, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I and remember. Beautiful. I mean, you when you do it, you're it's kind of magical when it's all done. And you're like, I did that. So, yeah, I I was one of those people that was a little hesitant to to try those because I was, I was thinking they were more complicated than they are. And I've only done the road stitch. So I'm big talker here. <laughs> no, you are, I know you are going to be fine. And I do uh, think it is. And that's why I even say like, if you love linen, don't start on Ada to practice. It's totally different. It, yeah. And that's not to say don't use Ada. Absolutely. Or however, I never know exactly how to say that. It's whatever mm -hmm. you prefer, but don't let linen stop you because you've heard it's hard. You don't, yeah. you don't know anything. You're a clean slate. So. Yeah, no, I agree. There's no set uh, path for everyone to build their skills. I really believe if you want to do something bad enough, you're going to do it. That's what I do. Yeah. But there, and I totally understand that preconceived notion because I have that about brioche knitting. And uh, like, I, like, I always like pull back when I hear the word and I've done it. And I love it. But every time I do it, I have to relearn it. It takes two seconds, but it's that like, Oh no, it's brioche. You know, it, it's, it's just, too bad. They gave it a name. I don't know. <laughs> like, I agree. I agree. If you don't know any better. Back. Yeah. If you don't know any better to be afraid of something, you're better off. So, yeah. so yeah, well, I'm happy that you're, do you want to show us something of yours next? Yes, I want to show something that I almost forgot about. So I, for wedding gifts, depending on my relationship to the person, I always make Shepherd's Bush stockings. So I have made 5,979 of these. <laughs> like, honest to God. Like, so of course, I love when I find scissors that were missing. Yes. I have so many things in these bags that, so anyways, um, I have two little granddaughters. One is Charlie and one is Lily. And Lily got her stocking and Charlie, this is her first Christmas. So I really need to get at this. Mm -hmm. I am doing Little Miss Charlie's. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I love these stockings so much. I will tell you, I've made so many, I'm getting a little worn out. A little worn out. Is I, everyone different? Everybody's is different? Uh, or Some are the same. At the beginning, when there was only a handful to choose from, now there's some fantastic ones, which I have to start doing. But there's two very little girly ones that I really love. They're just so sweet. And, and of course, I don't know the names. This one is Mary. Oh, gosh. I know. And isn't that like Lily or Charlie right there? Little Blondie. Yeah. So oh. I love these so much. So I pulled out Charlie's and I've got to get back to it. So what am I looking at? The It's the top of the stocking is going to be the yes. green so scroll, Charlie, her name. Name goes up here. Then this sweet little girl, then there's like a village and then that's done. Aww. So this, I probably am not kidding. You did in two days. Like they fly. <sighs> they it's do? Like, oh yeah. Cause this is like burlap practically. It's. Oh really? 22 count linen. Oh. So it's 11. I think it's 22 count. Okay. That makes me think I should be making stockings then. I thought that was a. Well, it oh. depends on the stockings you make. These are very manageable. So this is, I'm trying, because I know I use what the pattern says, 18 count. So that means it's nine stitches to the inch. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then of course they have the beautiful charm packs. And now I will say, this is a huge investment. Huge. They are not inexpensive to make because they have a charm pack, they have all the pearl cotton, I think it's number eight. I 
don't even know. Oh. Number five. Number five. So you buy it as a whole kit. Yes. So what I do after all these years, look at me, I'm playing a little mini Nicole. Look at you. So yeah. <laughs> so what I do is I take the strand, it's like a big hank, and I cut it in half. And those are the lengths I use. And then I just leave them like this. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of floss. Now, the more you make, the more like say 437 is the flesh tone on a lot of them. So you don't need to rebuy all of them every time. Yeah. I don't even know if I have the chart pack for this or the charm pack, but those are, I don't know, $25 just for the charms. There's a million. I didn't know there was charms. Or, hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I wish I had some, of course we don't have them. <laughs> you give them all away. <laughs> So really the only ones I feel like I've left in my future are for my boys, if and when they ever get married. Okay. Any of their children, any of my grandchildren will get these. And mm -hmm. then myself and Dave. Those are really all I want to do at this point. Because what happens is you make them for a wedding gift and then they have children. And so then you make them for the shower gift for the first child. And then there's no more showers, but you feel like, I the other kids need to match. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do owe only, there's one other extremely special family in my life that they have all gotten them and their children. And I'm missing two of the grandchildren, but they're so special. They're so much fun. I love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh, for sure. Charlie's will get done soon. And I have a fabulous finisher for stockings. Yeah, she's well, a very good friend of mine. She would not do it for a business, but they are. Oh. So by the honest to goodness, I am not kidding you. By the time you're done with finishing and everything else, they're probably $250 each. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> but they're so beautiful. And you, they're heirlooms. Yeah. They're, they're heirlooms. And, and the finishing again makes it like my finisher is like, oh my God, like you, oh, these are so beautiful. It's like, not until you finish them. Like, yeah, they're worthless. <laughs> yeah, that's really what does it. The finishing is key, I think. I think you need to put a little note in the so inside of them for ancestors just to know. <laughs> Don't I take know. Them goodwill. <laughs> it is, I know. I know. That is the crazy part. And I always, I used to give a big tub, like a Rubbermaid tub that they would fit in because my fear is they're going to get put in the attic. And you know how you put treats in stockings and oh. there's a little piece of food in there. And you know my fear of creatures and what they can do. Yeah. So I always say put them in Rubbermaid. Like, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And in my stocking. Well, yep. So I got just the words done. <laughs> I, love I love this it. piece. I absolutely love it. I love that I did it on a bigger count because it's going to be a little bigger piece and I want it framed and it's going to be part of my sampler wall. I was going to say that is the start of your sampler wall. I love this. I cannot wait. Next is going to be all the buildings at the bottom and the tree in the middle. And then it's the alphabet. And I love this. I ran out of the Threadworks floss that I'm using. And they had, uh, at the. I went to my local, it's, it's a needlepoint shop. And they don't sell any cross stitch or anything, but they have Threadworks. So I found the same dye lot there, thankfully. Oh. So I'll have enough to finish. But uh, yeah, I love this. Oh, this is so fun. I want to start this so badly. And I just put in a fabric order to someone which we'll talk about later oh and i'm thinking because i don't know i need a fabric stash i do have some that i could probably use but i want to go to my needle workshop and get floss i'm almost tempted to do it in the old school black just black with a light thread no black oh, oh black and you know that look oh. that used to be there used to be a look i feel like maybe i'm making that up because yours and red. to me looks black. And yeah, I, it does look black. I love it. 
but it's it there is black it's a black brown mm -hmm. there's it's goes really dark brown almost black and then there's lighter can't really tell on here but yeah black would be really cool i really have to do that yeah you're right this is the center of a sampler wall oh Absolutely. yes it is i mean oh my gosh i mine is getting started so soon when these pieces come back <gasps> i tell you and that is modern folk embroidery i didn't mention i am in love with his stuff he I, is jacob right jacob. he just speaks to me i love the symmetry and i love i just love everything about i, I could do everything of his i love the I the um seasons one that at the attic they have hung up i think it's the attic it's the, the um, spring summer winter fall quaker it's huge but i think i'll just keep doing his year thing because i me do too. really enjoy that me too you know what you you nailed exactly why i love him it's his symmetry because if you look at any of my designs i tried to break away I tried so hard, I can't. I am so symmetrical. When I garden, and I'll use that term extremely loosely. <laughs> Let's say when I used to garden, everything was about symmetry and designing. Mm -hmm. I'm so symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. in my house, like how I set things up, it's like, yeah, it's kind of boring. But, but it is, it's, it's who I am. So that's it. Okay, now that we've mentioned his name, holy moly, yeah. I pulled it out again yesterday. Oh. oh, Sue, I'll hold mine up too so people can look at I want to see yours. both of ours. Oh, <laughs> Rachel. I, We're love, kind of, I love yours. Oh, I yours love is yours. so subtle and oh, it's going to be gorgeous on the wall. What color frame are you thinking for that? I, you know what? Uh, I have that's no tough. idea. I typically love a large frame, but on this one, I'm not because it's such a big piece. Mm -hmm. I can almost see the profile of the frame, but I, I have no idea. I mean, will it maybe something to match the floche, but in a wood, a distressed wood? Now, because I feel like a dark frame would take away from... You know, when you say that, though, what I think of when I think of like a light light frame like this that my eye is going to jump from the frame to the design instead of stay you know I'm going to be distracted by that I think I don't know this will be an interesting one we should send both of ours to Paige at the same time at the same time and do like a zoom and we'll both decide yeah I cannot wait to start the buildings on the other side is there buildings I haven't even looked there is but they're different. I mean, they're, it's symmetrical, but different. You know what? It's so funny. So yesterday I took a breather. Like I didn't want to dye yarn yesterday. I just wanted to decompress. So I pulled this out because we have a group on our Periscope that is, um, we're all working on this. Yes. And it's so much fun. We have a thread going and it's just really fun to share. Although I never share. I'm so bad. I just look. We go in spurts. If somebody posts, then I'm like, oh, here's mine. I know. And I've got to do the same. But so yesterday I pulled it out because I wanted, I love yours so much. And I'm, I was looking at yours. Put yours back up. I know. Sorry. I, I keep putting I it down because I want to look at yours. I know. So right now um, I am on, I should take the hoop out. I am the most like... I don't even know how to describe it. One minute I have the hoop on, the next minute I have it off, then I have it on, then I have it off, like trying. <laughs> but it, it's, And it's not affecting your tension or anything? I don't think so. I'm probably it doesn't thinking. look like it is. <laughs> it would for mine. <laughs> it probably is. So what I want to do is finish going down there today, finish the diamond, basically. Yeah. Me too. I would love to get that done this weekend at some point. I am in such a steady, <sighs> being quiet stitching mood. I really am. I think it's just the the busyness of of the business right now. It's just like when I I just like to just like decompress. You've had a busy week, my goodness. Every time <laughs> every I time know. I talk to you, you're like selling these um 
what are you calling mini? They're micro sock kits. So they're micro sock kits. And, and I, I thought they would do well, but I wasn't prepared. Like I wasn't like my head wasn't on. So they're yeah. kind of like, whoa, I didn't expect this. And having said that, it's all amazingly exciting and I'm so grateful for it. Yeah. But I do need space after <laughs> like this of just like, okay, I need to regroup and recharge for next week. And but I mean, and next week is August already? Is, is it? Do we get our, I don't know, is it? Let's see, oh, I today's the 24th. So seven days. So a week from today, it'll be August. So we'll get our... I love our, uh, next when clue. we get it on like a Friday. I love that. And honestly, I barely even did. It. I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't even started. So I was so excited yesterday to just get going. I, I love it so much. I love stitching those birds. There's, it's just easy. It's a, it's a really easy, relaxing stitch. If you, you know, you count right. <laughs> but it's also because it's so symmetrical. So yeah, literally, you, I would just look over here and do the same over here. Like I just, it. Yeah, me too. I love, I love it. it. Love, love, love. Okay, what else do we have? Do you have any more you want to show? I have one more big one, which I haven't looked at in a very long time, and it's going to really excite me when I take it out. And then I have one thing that I bought that I Ooh. think you have too. That are really I have a few purchases too. All right, sh you want to show us the big thing? Okay, so this is the big thing. So I started the queen sampler. All hail the queen. All hail and I bought the kit. Look at how it's surged. I love getting fabric surged. I wish Me I too. Could. You have a serger, don't you? I do, but I've been lazy and just making zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. But I got some fabric from Sassy Jacks, and on their serger, they used a rainbow thread. So my serge around it is rainbow. It's so pretty. This was Sassy Jacks, too. <laughs> did, they, oh. did you get the rainbow serger? No, I, I don't know what this is, but look at this. Got the, yeah, I love that. This is so... Oh my era of designing and stitching this is what it was all about so to me do you remember this, like, this designer mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah i do i darlene osteen i don't think i ever met her or was at an event with her when i had my frame shop and stitch shop a hundred years ago i had somebody that worked for me that stitched all she was fabulous stitcher like blow you away and I met her through framing for her because she would bring in these pieces and I was like like oh my gosh they're so gorgeous so I did get started there and now I think we talked about this very very briefly is there's a million um specialty stitches in here and I never say this but I'm going to say it for this this is not for the faint of heart it is just not. It's, it's difficult. I'm just going to be honest. It's difficult. And a lot of it for me is around the directions. I'm not, my brain isn't, isn't, now this is just me. It doesn't mean it's for everyone, but my brain, I'm overwhelmed by the directions. I'm overwhelmed mm -hmm. by the presentation and I'm just overwhelmed by them. And, and I think I said that to you because you were thinking about it and I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know, because it's a very expensive kit. It was a very, I don't even know if they're still available. And I say that it was worth every penny, every penny. I'm not saying it isn't priced correctly, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not at all for somebody that's like a little nervous. I hate even saying that because I never want to discourage anybody but are the directions, um, is it that it's just all words and it's, it's how the directions are organized. Okay. For me, they're not organized the way my brain works. Like row one, here they are. Row two, here they are. Along with stitch diagram one, two, three, yeah. a three B, you know, like that's yeah. how my brain make that's how something is easy for me if it's very clearly defined and I'm not finding that for this. 
And you could also buy an extra, somebody deciphered them because they realized it was difficult. And even that for me is an organized. So I have oh papers God. everywhere. I have like, oh. this is a sit down at the dining room table uh. layout. It's a lot of work. Having said that, I still love it. And I still love working on it. I just, I love it. So did she design that in commemoration of a queen or why is it the queen sampler? Cause there's Queens on it, right? Well, I'll show you, let me see if I have the picture. It's, it's fabulous. Her mm -hmm. design, all her designs are fabulous. They are, they are. Oh my God. I can't even imagine putting these Queens in. They look so hard. I never say that about anything. <laughs> Oh yeah. Now I see the whole thing. So it is, so, and I've mm. seen oh, it's long. video, you know, I forgot who did it. Was it the attic? Did a whole, it was the attic. And I will watch ago. that video over and over again. Once I pull this out again, and then it's got this beautiful Lassis, which that's what everyone's afraid of. And I'm like, that's the easiest part of the whole thing. The easiest part. This is the tough stuff. Now, I know Bono was doing it, so the back mirrored the front. There's no way. There's no way. Cause for, and she's talked about it. She really said it was because she's kind of presenting it and she wants to do it correctly and blah, blah, blah. So I understood it, and I thought, no, I'm just stitching it so that it looks like this. However I can get it to look like this is how I'll stitch it. Yeah. So... Is it, is the, um, is the original, uh, front and back piece like the, or were they just putting the, were Shvana just trying to challenge herself? No, I think it was. I think it wow. was. Like the alphabet you can read on the back and the front. Now let's see. Nope. Not on mine. <laughs> and I'm was, sure yours is beautiful though. Yeah. Well, oh, my backs are terrible. I don't care. Really? See I don't know. I just figured like I wanted to enjoy working on it. And then what I found is like this band, these two bands aren't even right. Like the stitch they said, I looked at the wrong diagram. Oh How my gosh. And it, yeah, but it's beautiful and it looks, that's like, a bummer. Though. Yeah. You know, you invest so much I just it, want it but... to come a little quicker for me. You know what I mean? I want it, but it's, it's not a fast piece. I think even the letters, they said, do this certain stitch and it didn't even show up enough to hmm. do it. You know what I mean? To get the benefit uh -huh. of it. I'm like, I'm just doing cross stitches on that. So I'm interpreting hmm. it the way I would like it now. I think that makes sense. It's I hope so that. Simple. Yeah. Maybe you should start from the bottom. I wish I did. I wish yeah. I did. But I believe Vana talked about this too, the wear and tear. Having Ooh. but I don't use a scroll rod. This I will do a lot in hand. A lot in hand. Mm -hmm. Now I want to work on this. Yep. Wow. It's Very a life cool. Goal. It's a life goal. This yeah. on a sampler wall. <gasps> oh my god. I I would be like super stitcher then. I haven't yet to hang any of my stitching. I have them leaning up against my bookshelf. <laughs> I don't um, know. I, I feel like I need five of them to put up mm -hmm. to get it going. Miss Mary Mac. Oh, I did work on one other piece. I'm okay. So I am using so unorganized silks. Mm -hmm. There's even beads in there. In the queen it. sampler, there's beads. Mm -hmm. I found the actual queens. Wow. Oh, wow. That's another one of those. You have to see the original to really, oh, I for the model. To, I want to, and I, um, I am definitely someone who loves a challenge. I love to be challenged. I'm incredibly competitive. That is not a good thing. This is my <laughs> challenge. Mm -hmm. And I don't want this to beat me like at all. No. <laughs> I did work on one other piece that I forgot about. In my beautiful, finally a bag. Joanna stitching the high notes. I have a bunch That's of her bags. Mm -hmm. So I worked on 
la di da I've talked about it's one of my favorite designers. Yes, this, I want that one. Oh, oh gosh. This needs to get done because it's almost yeah. done. Yeah, you need to finish that. Oh. Yeah. I couldn't deal with the um, leaves. I Didn't I text you yesterday? I'm so tired of leaves. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't deal with the leaves. And I wasn't in a good headspace, but I love this. It's on, look at me. Sometimes I leave these. Yes, that's good. See? 36 count Edinburgh. Heartland. Picture this plus. Mm. I love it. One strand of floss. Love abides. La di da. That is such a um, entryway front door kind of piece. I see for me I, that I really want to get that one done. I know this. I think might go where Miss Mary Mack is right now, and she'll be moved to my sampler wall. What room is your sampler wall in? I have a. I have so many like weird sitting rooms like so it's the center of the house it's this little mm -hmm. sitting room it was the living room before we added on and it's got a wood stove in it or pellet or whatever and it's got this huge wall I said that like it's a big room it's a minuscule room <laughs> it's a huge wall <laughs> but it's like one of our favorite Perfect. places to sit because it's warm in the winter and yeah oh yeah yeah so I want to finish this. I want this to be a finished object soon. Yeah, that's going to be finished soon. I can feel it. I can feel it. I was digging around in my um, sewing stuff, and I've got a box of stuff that my ancestors I've inherited, and I came across this adorable little stitched bag. Look at that. Aww. Crochet. And I happened to have a ribbon that matched it perfectly, so I know. Somebody, I don't know if it was my great grandma made this. It's a burlappy kind of sack. It just says crochet, sweet little buttons. And what is the oh, crochet done in? Is it like a little satin stitch? Yep, the crochet is done in a satin stitch and then outlined. There's stem stitches for the um, plants, and then I think that's satin stitch on the flowers. And so then in the center, the flowers are, um, oh, what are those? Not baubles. Oh, um, French knots. French knots. I know. And I thought, oh, that needs to be put out somewhere. I know. I, I know. It's just so sweet. I have been working on finishing my I bag so far. I'm not keep... done yet. I'm making a stitch bag out of it. So I've got the, I keep I've got it kind of all organized. check with you on that. Oh my but God. But yeah, so I, it's, oh. It's really rough right now. I, I just, I wanted to, I wish I could quilt across this, but I can't. So I left that blank. I found some of this and I was at a, an estate sale maybe two years ago and there was all of these bins of, I mean, for like $4, all of these different trims. So I just always have so much fun pulling out my trims and I thought this, this one, with the orangish brown in there kind of matched it nice. And then this is an old vintage fabric that I inherited from an ancestor, which I think kind of goes nice with it. And then these are an old pair of my blue jeans. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. The only thing is the blue jeans are stretched, so it's been a little bare to sew. But once it comes together, it'll be fine. And I'll just iron out the, the kinks. But I've been working on that too with my stitching. So and then the other thing, do you follow Farm Girl, Farm Girl, Michelle Rudy on Instagram? Yeah. She I lives in Minnesota. She has goats. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if I follow, I know I used to watch her floss tube a lot and I do once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. She was on floss tube. She recently went to Patreon because she was finding, she's had so many followers that her initial intent to get to know people well just wasn't happening with all of her followers. So she decided to do Patreon and I've never jumped into anyone's Patreon. And for some reason I thought I'd like, I, I really like what she does. She does all kinds of things. And, she and she got me, she got me to buy a basket weaving kit. <laughs> so I, I make a basket. she just started doing that or whenever I watched that floss yeah. tube. She was basket weaving. Yeah, she is very inspiring. 
she is. And so on her Patreon, um, she's done a video on how she makes her soap. And you really, if you follow the video, she has a recipe. She really is a good teacher, really thorough. So I thought, you know, I'm going to jump right in. She is doing, um, are you familiar with MMM Crafts? She's uh, Larissa Holland. She is a designer of hand-sewn patterns with felt and stitching. And so on her Patreon, on Farm Girl's Patreon, we're making these little um, Santa ornaments. There's Santa and Mrs. Claus, and then she's got the 12 days of Christmas and all kinds of things. But oh, no, if I Michelle, show it close. Why are you showing us? Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love this. So I went ahead, Benzi Design, it's a Chicago-based wool felt kind of company. I ordered the felt for this and You're the right floss now. colors. I, my, um, my Christmas colors are not traditional. I'm more of a turquoise. My tree is turquoise and pinks and yeah, teals I and stuff. Yeah, I love it. So can yes. you me backtrack? Is yeah. what you bought specifically for, oh, stop it. Yes. Yes. So they're selling kits for these. Larissa, the designer, if you go onto her blog, she has worked with Benzie to procure all the items that you need to make these in kits. And you can get the full-blown kit, but I have tons of seed beads that I'd love to use. Um, I just have to find some sequins. So I just went ahead and got the felt and floss. And how many will yeah. that kit make? Like several. several. I don't know, but a, a lot. Because you only need, I mean, these are tiny. These are like, well, you can see her hand. So they're, you just need little snips of felt. So yeah, but let me show you the, um, I'm so mad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. I, I've never done anything like this. And um, of course I can't close this while I'm on here. Um, she does a 12 days of Christmas. That is phenomenal. And now I just lost her. So this is going to be an editing. I mean, you can see on the top of her. Oh. I just think that's going to be so fun because it's going to combine hand stitching with um, stitching motifs and pretty things in. It's just a combination of a lot of different. It reminds me of Sue Sparkle. Mm. It <laughs> does. Yeah, yes. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So have I mean, you started look at, anything? Look oh, at the drummers drumming. You could, I want a 12 days of Christmas tree with Me all too. of these felt. I mean, it's just. Okay. okay, let's break it down. Are they hard? No. You know what makes them not hard is you get a pattern and you print your pattern on this fusible um melt away stabilizer and you stick it onto your felt and it's got the stitch lines on it so you stitch it and then you just put your felt in water and that stabilizer just melts off okay so where do you get this see here this is what i get overwhelmed by like where do you get all these parts where is the stabilizer well that's where i think the um, michelle rudy's patreon is a gift because she's got the whole materials list and links to Amazon. So it was like $12 on Amazon to get 12 sheets of this stabilizer of which I'll probably just use a whole sheet for a project. So, okay, I, have, so I need to be a Patreon now. Darn it. Patron. I, I think it has been really neat. There's only 250 of us, but it's people who really dive into these crafts, you know, and I'm so far it's been really fun. Okay. So if I join like, in a month. Do you get everything previous? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I joined uh, a couple of weeks after she started it, and I can see from day one her posts. Okay. She's a really great teacher. Her soap tutorial is wonderful. Of course, made me want to try soap, but the lie thing kind of gets me nervous. But these are just gorgeous. I want to pull up these 12 days of Christmas. I don't know. I was, I looked at them and I was like, can I really do this? And then I looked at the tutorial and it was like beautiful. I mean, it's broken down so well. This will give you kind of an idea of this is on her um, Etsy. It's her Etsy store. So I'm not giving away anything, but see how the stabilizer is on there. Yeah. And then you do the stitching and add your beads. 
See, the key to everything is that breaking down. Just what you said, like the breaking down. It, because for me, the final product is quite often so overwhelming. It's just like the, the specialty stitches. The final product is so overwhelming. But if then you can break it down, yeah, be manageable, that's the key. Oh, darn it. Yeah, and this oh. Benzy design, their felt is beautiful. It's not like the felt at the craft store. No, it it's is wool felt probably. It's wool felt. Now this is, I think, a polyester wool combination, but they also have the 100% wool as well. And I do have some of that from Benzy too, but it's it's a beautiful felt and it cuts really nicely. And Okay, so by the next podcast, Floss Tube, could you have one done? Um. I think she's doing her, I think the video is coming out next week. No, <laughs> I don't think so. But maybe I'll get inspired to just do it. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. so remember how last time we talked about the English paper piecing? You talked about the English paper piecing and got me down a rabbit hole. Uh-huh. So I haven't started anything, but. Can I tell you how mad I am? Yesterday I missed two really important, like, either an update or an email that I needed in order to get something immediately. One was for my business, which has totally like flattened me, but the other is for English paper piecing. So somebody so nicely told us who I know Jules of so violet. So sweet violet. So sweet violet. Mm -hmm. Do you put out these hexy English paper piecing kits yesterday? I figured out exactly the time. I kept refreshing. It was going to be at two o'clock Eastern Standard Time, seven for her. I think it was two. I figured it out. I was all set to go. My mind went blank. I missed it. I'm so what was in her excited. kit? Oh my God. It had the glue stick. It was just lovely. Oh. And, and she just packages every. Yes. I'm so bad about this and I wanted to be like Jules I missed it and I didn't want to do that to her but anyways, <laughs> make one uh, extra for I me know, please just let me one <laughs> but um I got so involved in my stitching and then it hit me and I looked up and it was 2 38 oh. and I was like no <laughs> and you don't do that often I, I mean you're not one to chase those I so don't that was a big deal <laughs> I don't do updates that's why we really don't do them anymore I find them yeah so hard and so yeah. stressful we do them very rarely um so I quick looked down I was like maybe 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 not everyone mm -hmm. in the world wanted them if I saw sold out one more time yesterday I was gonna like scream sold out I like now have you heard of the last homely house no, do they have them? Okay, write that down. Yesterday she did uh, English paper piecing. I heard about her through um, Susan B. Anderson, who's you using her for her quilting. It's ringing. So I clicked on me. her. Yeah, I clicked on her because when Susan B. Anderson says something is good, you know yeah. it's good. And she's been doing um, some quilting stuff, following her for quilting, but she's doing these hexagon quilts. And she yesterday had a video how she makes her hexes. And she's so lovely. She's a, an older lady, learned from her mother how to make the hexagons. And she does it all by stitching. She hasn't tried the glue because she, she oh. challenges in her British accent, I challenge, I would like to do a challenge. I think I can stitch as fast as the glue, you know? <laughs> so she, you would, you would get a kick out of her. Oh. She's really, but oh, her beautiful quilt. She's made a quilt with hexagons that looks like the British Isles. I know. And then she's got a quilt. It's the two quilts are behind her in her latest video. Check her out. I will definitely. I yeah. feel like I've heard the name. And she sells kits too occasionally don't i don't know if she had any now i'll say sold out i'm gonna be so yesterday i was just like really like everything i wanted was sold out <laughs> well i have one of those cricket makers so do i, I you do know. yeah well we can make hexy so easy on it we can yeah okay so we will zoom at another time and you're going to teach me i need i, already I forgot should make how to you a kit it. 
I'm going to make myself a kit. Maybe I need to make you a kit because okay. I ordered the glue on Amazon. It's I coming with I my. I have some glue upstairs. I think I got some from Missouri Star for something else that I don't, I never opened. I'm so yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, but you made me watch Tula Pink's paper piecing. Okay, so that, she's, she's what a great video. Name. Yeah, she's the big name, and Sue Davis and Australia. Sue Daly. Daly. Everybody talks about her. She was on Missouri Star. I watched a yeah. video with her on it too. Tula Tula Pink. I am. I want to be her best friend. What a she's, great video on English yeah. paper piecing. And she is brilliant she's such an artist she's such an artist like she's an illustrator which is my whole dream in life that i still haven't quite reached but that is what i went to school for and it's always been my dream to do children's mm -hmm. book which is so interesting because susan b anderson has the same dream and i need to talk to her you do i do yeah, so, yeah we've totally like wandered off but yes no so, oh yeah. my gosh, I can't wait to see those. My only hesitancy is I want to start English paper piecing. And I feel like I can only pick one thing. But maybe not. Get well, going on those and then I'll decide. I'm rationalizing. I'm going to do English paper piecing. I just want to make a flower with a little hexagon center and the hexagons around it and put it on maybe, I don't know, a bag or something. See, I want to do just a whole quilt. dabble. <laughs> I gotta start small somewhere. <laughs> See, and this is my problem. I never start small. And Jules was gonna force me to start small because her kit is small, and it was gonna yeah. allow me to practice without committing. Well, in her hexagon, she's making a blanket, right? That rainbow blanket where she's stitching in the center of a hexi the rainbow colors of each rainbow line of hexes. So that's I. I really lately into combining things so i like these I felt that. things i'm going to be hand sewing i'm going to be stitching on them i'm going to be using beads it's creating a product that i'm going to love i love so that. now i'm talking big i can't wait to see please but just make one they're probably gonna look terrible when i get done no oh, i've never seen you do anything that looks terrible ever. oh yeah well i've had a lot of failures for sure <laughs> that's a good thing it, that's how we learn I'm trying, I'm just looking at my table. I got this. <gasps> oh, darn it. I, I broke down. Killing me. The aesthetic of most of what they do just wouldn't fit in my house right now. But I love this guy. I've seen it now three times and loved it. And that's the signal to me that I can purchase it. So I did. And I got the kit because Where? I thought I'm not going to mess around. And I want, I, I need a little, I need more, um, these are all, um, what, what's the brand? Classic yeah, Color Works. Oh, Classic Color. Okay, yeah, so tell so. me this. Oh, was that Fat Quarter Shop, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay, they're probably, I'm going to go and it's going to say sold out, and I'm going to be so sad again. Uh, I don't think they're sold out. But okay. I mean. So have you all... seen the Mrs. Claus? With the. The three ornaments. They're so cute. I know. So I would, I do an advent box for the girls. Well, I did one for Lily yes. last year. Oh, oh, these felt ornaments would be perfect. The only problem, those are right. a little too delicate, I think, because Lily really enjoys actually playing with things like that. But yeah. I'm tempted to do them each one of the housewife's ornaments. Maybe even, listen to me, maybe even two, because I put them all in individual bags and they open. And yeah. And put the date and the name on the back. And every year when you make these for them, they'll have ornaments. Granny. I'm going to do it on this fabric though, See? because I want my Santa. To me, this guy has delivered all the presents. Mm -hmm. He's done and it's morning now and he's enjoying his morning cup of coffee. I love that. <laughs> So, and I, I can't believe I'm saying, well, I think I'm going to do it with the border. Initially, I was going to do it. I've got some red polka dots uh, fabric that I was just going to do the Santa on because I thought it would be too busy with all the lighting, but the, I love that border. So 
I love the border. I was thinking the same thing is would I put it on more of an antique? It would change everything, right? Mm -hmm. As far as the look. But then I'm thinking for the girls, it's the black is so fun and mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look. If it says sold out, I'm gonna be so sad. The fight uh, the thread, the floss. Well the I don't kit. think it's sold. Well, I bought it's separate. I mean, you buy the floss oh, kit. The, oh, okay. So, so you didn't get the then, fabric. No, no. I had that fabric in my stash. All you get is it's a floss kit for that pattern. Okay. I'm going to do, do a lot of those. I'm going to do it. I can't wait. The other thing I'm slowly kidding up. <laughs> I'm ex oh my gosh, look at us. I'm waiting on my fabric. I am waiting on some colorways. I'm not sure which. My local shop, I think they're so tired of me kidding. Like, I'm always like, could you just get that up for me and I'll pick it up? Is that like not a good expectation of a shop? I don't want to push, like, I do feel like, oh, is that, am I being really like presumptuous that that's what they want to do? Well, I don't, uh, if you're saying I'm coming in an hour. <laughs> No, yes, no, no. You're giving I, them time. Yeah, I think, but I feel bad. I don't want to take advantage of them. Like, well, ask them. Next time you I'm, call, say, is this asking too much? I think I'm going to, because sometimes I feel like, oh, maybe I'm just pushing the fact. There's Sue again, asking I, for the world. I feel like I'm turning into, yeah, Sue called again. <laughs> I, I doubt it. Get it up again. And <laughs> I don't know why she can't just come in. And, you know, like, so I don't want to assume that that is something. But I can't yeah. wait. So, uh -huh. so what I did, because you informed me yesterday that you bought all this fabric. And on it, I was like, shoot, I need fabric. So. I keep hearing everyone talking about seraphim fabrics. Hmm. So I forgot what I was watching, but I clicked on a link and I ordered some seraphim. I've never heard of it. It's lovely. A lot of people are using it right now and they're talking very highly of it. So I ordered two fat hats. <laughs> what is, how much is that? I think it was 18 by 50. So that's a decent, I mean, that's a lot of fabric. So I'm hoping one of them will work good for this. I'm dying to start this. I guess we should say what it is. A yeah. new constellation yeah. I love <laughs> by it. Plum Street. I love it too. I'm having a hard time finding that blue color. Oh, okay. So what color is it? Um, I think it's called blue corn. Oh, blue corn is all, well, I'm talking like I really know, but I feel like blue corn is always hard to find. And I can't find the Weeks Dye Works Crimson. I have everything else. I probably don't have those either. I, did you do DMC too? I probably will, but it's the flag. I want to have that blue corn, you know? You too. I love blue corn. What is this one? I'm so messy. I was going to be really organized. Oh, you I know what else I have? have? I have, I got from Mad from Minders like a year and a half ago. I got this Betsy Ross flag minder, needle minder. So I stuck it in there so I don't forget to use it. <laughs> what were you showing? Um, I have crimson. You do? Yeah. I'll find it. Yeah. I will find it. If not, you know what? I am going to go actually go into my shop very soon. Um, mm -hmm. I'll check with you before I go. And if they have it, I'll grab it for you. Now, you know how no, um, no pattern can travel alone, that rule? I heard it. <laughs> I had to get this one too because I stare at Brenda's every oh, flipping time. Oh my gosh, what is it called? It's called American Sampler. I love this. I love it. I love the house. I love this little extension of the house. I don't know why. I love that the, this flag has a quilty kind of thing next to it. I love, I love that tree. I love that man and woman. I love it. <laughs> That's me and Brian. <laughs> Oh in front of our God. big American house oh, with the big waving it. American flag. And there's three flags. I love it. Thumbs up. 
I love that. Well, and then I, I went a little crazy on this order, didn't I? Love I? It. You know where I ordered. So who did you order? I, yeah. did you order? I highly recommend. This is my second time. They are fast. Some of the other places, it's like 15 day wait to pack. And I get it. I don't want to complain. But Shepherd's Needle in Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas, thumbs up. Great website. Every time I order, I get a little extra they throw in. This time they threw in this amazing Grace sampler, which is really pretty by My Big Toe. Oh, that's and nice. and awesome. because I decided to get <laughs> just stop me. Okay, this is all right. I I went so on a little those, bender. Clearly, <laughs> this is punch needle. Needle. Are they are they already printed on the fabric? Yes, Ooh. Teresa Colgate includes the printed fabric on here. Well, I'm sorry, includes the fabric and they're not printed on. What am I saying? The printed fabric and the design. But I appreciate that she has the weaver's cloth in here. Yeah. Because it's hard to find for me for some reason. But I thought these ornaments were so cute, fun little projects. Look so at those. Cute. My you... favorite is the Santa and the reindeer. Have you seen, they are the oddest oddest of her designs but i love them and i'm buying them the halloween with the guy with the pumpkin head running what are those that, that totally am, looks like something you need on your wall or i something. am obsessed but you know what i want to do i want to needle punch them yeah wouldn't they be they would go so fast yeah, that's, I'm looking forward to that. So I got my ultra punch already and I will start that this fall or winter. And then this is it. I promise. I really, I haven't bought stuff in a while. I, I, I think the sampler is beautiful that she created. This is another Teresa Koga. Her You're literally land, killing me today. Like land that I love. I mean, the houses, the strawberries in the middle. I, uh, it's really beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beyond beautiful. It's, oh. She's so talented. Okay, so a couple things. I feel like we always have to, have to floss tube on Friday because now, like, all I wanted, like, if this was Monday, I wouldn't be able to work all week. I, you would totally, <laughs> like, ruin my work week. I'd be like, no, I can't work. I have too much to do. We're not allowed to do that on Mondays. I know. So I do love the fact of, oh my gosh, I can allow myself some free time. Did you hear about the Sassy Jacks? Um, it's a weekend in September. They're doing a virtual gathering. And it's going to be obviously online. There's going to be several Zoom rooms open for people to go into and chat while they're stitching. And then um, Kimberly is coming on to, to do like a welcome and then a layout of the weekend. And then she's going to have special guests all weekend coming in. Um, they're going to have a goodie bag with the sampler that they're focusing on for the weekend. It's $60 and she sends you the swag bag, which that, there's a description of it on their website. It looks so fun. And I know some people are um, treating it like it's a, a sleep away, gone for the weekend. I'm not cooking. I'm not cleaning. I'm going to be just doing this in my home or maybe getting together with friends or family. I don't know. Sounds heavenly. Have you, have you seen that? It sounds really kind of cool. Very fun. Darn it. I'll send you the link. Send me the link. I feel like, okay, so right before he came on, I bought the fabric. I'm like, I'm buying this fabric. Now I have to go on to that quarter to get <laughs> those Priscilla ones. Because I really, like, I'm kind of like you. Like, some stuff I love, some stuff I don't. Like, just because it's not my my decoration style. Yeah. I don't even have decoration. So I, I don't, don't either. But... <sighs> Just when house. some of the stuff wouldn't look right in my house. In my house, exactly. Like in, I love everything they do and like where they put it is gorgeous. But those ornaments really are speaking to me. As so a gift for children. Yes, I have to do that. And then I have to go on Shepherd's Needle. 
Like how fast? Like two days? Uh, no, I mean, I placed the order and then the next day it shipped. Maybe two day, in two days it shipped and then I got it in two or three business days. So yeah, that's where. Fast. Yeah, it's fast compared to most. Yeah. Well, because they're so slammed, which is such a good thing. And I'm so happy for all those shops. They just, they're yeah. Busy. They're busy and they're following social distancing rules with their employees, which I think is really important. Absolutely. You know, I know Fat Quarter Shop is doing that. And that's taking them a while. But yeah, you need to go online, check. You need to check out everybody I said. And you need to join Michelle Rudy's little Patreon. <laughs> or at least do, you should go to, it's MMM Crafts. I'm going to that for sure. Mm, You're the only crafts. people. You would love to look at her felt ornaments and things. All right. The other thing to, for you to think about, I want to just overwhelm you with You're things. You're killing me right now. <laughs> So I said no. The other time. thing, I need granddaughters. That's the problem. You're so lucky. <laughs> um, Buttermilk Basin is coming out with a new ornament, felt ornament booklet, and I saw the cover of it. It's it's on Amazon as a pre-order. They look so nice, and it's such a good deal for your money when you get a book full of patterns. But I want all the supplies too. I'm not good at gathering supplies. I am all about the kit right now. It has to be a really good kit, but I'm all about the kit. You need to go to Benzi Designs then and look at all their felt kits. Okay, what is that called? <laughs> Benzi, B-E-N? Yep, B-E-N-Z-I-E. Benzi Designs. Darn it. It's terrible. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if I go to these places and everything I want is sold out, it's going to make me really sad. <laughs> I'm going to feel bad. You don't have to but it, it won't. You'll be fine. Oh, there's so I much. Take it so as much a sign, fun. right? I should take it as a sign. No, I you should finish. take it as keep pursuing. <laughs> You're not helping at all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so into this felt stuff lately. Well, but it's just I, so fun. Can I tell you? Oh, I should. Oh, I have a penny rug bed bed cover. What do they call it? It's a penny rug, but it's a bed. There's a name for it. Cover. I don't know. Hmm. And I have it 90% done. It's all black on the back. You, when I can, I will gather that. It will kill you. It is so gorgeous. And it's 12 inch blocks. You're going to die. Weren't we going to, weren't we going to do a little retreat at your house in July? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, July's already gone. Okay. We're, we're <laughs> going to. We're going to. I think we have to push it up a little. I know. This pandemic has to leave. I'm done with it. We are all done. Done. Go away. Done and for that reason, I miss I miss my people. Like that's the main part of it. I miss that that I need a creative group around. I, I just do. Oh, you learn so much. I mean, just our discussion today, I've learned so much from you where I need to look up stuff and I've overwhelmed you and I, it's you know. Just the opposite. I now have to go shopping again. <laughs> well, I think that's it. I think we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Thank you all. Thank you for all the great comments we get. And you are much better at answering. I feel like I'm terrible at it, but I read them all. I read them all and so nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. we might have to at some point go to that format of answering questions. If we have them that need to be answered, I keep forgetting that piece. Yeah. I don't think there were many questions this last time, but yeah, if you have any questions for us, please answer them below. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. It is fun to see our numbers growing. Um, yeah. And just you people are finding us because we want to link in with you guys in the floss toss world for sure. So yeah, I agree. I agree. I have okay. so much to do right now. Yay, me too. Well, have a great day, Sue and everyone. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. And yeah. we will see you all on the next episode of Floss Toss. And two, we're really good at this two-week thing. We are. Yeah. You know, I need a partner for accountability. Me too. Me too. It really edits. Well, I've always had a partner. I'm really lucky. I've never done this alone. So it's, it's so much nicer, I have to say. Oh my gosh. I love it. 
I do too. <laughs> anyway, right, let's toss that floss. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> we really got to get better at that. We need a better, we need a better outro. <laughs> if somebody has any ideas, put yeah. them down below. Throw our way. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye, guys. Thank bye. You, thank you. Bye. <laughs>